Hey everybody, Fox700 here, and today we're going to be going over how to solder a Dean's connector. So first of all, we're going to go over the materials you're going to need to do this. You're going to need, obviously, a soldering iron. Uh, I recommend something with at least 40 watts of power, otherwise you're probably going to have a pretty difficult time actually uh, putting the wires onto the tabs. So 40 watts or higher, I recommend. So, I mean, like a 25 watt would work, but it'd just be pretty difficult. Um, also, wire cutters are helpful if your battery does not have, or your battery or connector or whatever, does not have strip wires already. They're obviously the thing you're going to be soldering, whether that's um, a battery or, um, or a, you know, a vehicle or a charger or something like that. You don't want to have that. I recommend you have some sort of contraption to actually hold the wires. Now, I don't have a purpose-built thing, but I have this repurposed photo holder that can hold wires pretty well, which is nice. You're also going to need a lighter for um, for the heat shrink tubing. You're going to need some solder, scissors, and I recommend having one or two pairs of channel lock pliers um, for holding, uh, well, for a step that I'll show you later on, which the it, these are extremely helpful for. And then lastly, you will, of course, need your Dean's connector itself. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be doing is the process of tinning the wires on the battery. So. The way you're going to, and the reason for this is just to get the, a layer of solder over there so there can be more conductivity on that little part. So you're going to put your soldering iron just under the wire. You're going to let the soldering iron's heat transfer through the wire. And then once it's heated up, you're just going to simply uh, touch your, touch your uh, solder to the top of the wire. And again, this might take a second to warm up, but once it does, you're going to touch it like that. And you're going to have your wire tinned so that it's ready to be attached to the tab of the connector. Doing the process of putting the solder onto the tab. So this is the actual solder that will be used to attach the wire to the terminal. So on this style of Dean's plug, you're going to rest your iron underneath the tab and then once again, once the heat from the iron has transferred to the tab, you simply place like, some, like a drop of solder, I mean like very little solder there and you should have kind of like a little sort of bead of solder there and that's what's actually going to allow you to put the wire onto the terminal. So now we're going to go over the process of actually putting the wire onto the terminal. Also another quick note, most Dean's connectors come with these little pieces of shrink wrap tubing to cover the joints when they're done. So make sure you put that on there before you attach the wire, otherwise obviously you can't put it on. So make sure you do that. It can be a little bit tricky. You're now going to attach the wire to the terminal of the battery and I find, find that the best way to do this is to take, um, have the connector inside a brace of some sort and then actually hold the wire with your hand. So then you're going to place the iron underneath the tab again. You can wait till it's warmed up. And once it's warmed up, you're just going to put the wire into place and you're going to wait for it to dry. Solder takes anywhere from two to seven seconds to dry, so make sure you actually give it enough time to dry. As you can see here, the two parts of the joint have melted together pretty well there. And so that's a pretty well soldered terminal, so I think I'm going to, I'm satisfied with that one. So the next thing you're going to do is just slide your heat shrink tubing over that, and once the other one is done, we can, uh, we can uh, use the lighter to melt that. Now this next step is pretty difficult because Deans are a little bit unique in that they have a vertical terminal here. And so it's very hard, it can be very hard to actually uh, tin that terminal because you have to hold it vertical and I found that this clip doesn't work, so I actually figured out a method to do it though, which I will show you now. So as you can see, what I've done here is I've actually taken uh, channel lock pliers, and I have my tab inside those pliers with it holding it vertical, uh, with the vertical side horizontal now, so that we can actually apply the solder to that. And then what I did is back here, for my finger, as you can see, I've actually taped the channel locks closed so that it actually applies some tension onto there, so it holds it very well. Also, another quick tip, if your soldering iron has kind of like a little bead of solder coming off there and it looks kind of gross, that could actually interfere, so you can just take up, make sure it's wet first, but you can take a little tissue or something, just wet it, and simply rub the tip on it to get off all the rest of that excess solder. Okay, so now we're going to tin this tab, and this part can be a little bit difficult, again, because you want to try to heat the tab for as little time as possible, because... Um, down here, um, if you keep it there for too long, you can actually melt that joint, and then you have to redo it, and that's really annoying. So just get the very tip of your soldering iron under that that tab, and then once it's hot, just place a little drop of solder there like you did in the beginning, 
and that should be good. Next you're going to take your other wire and again make sure that you have the heat shrink on that wire already so you don't have to redo your joint. So next you're going to take your iron, place it right underneath again, and simply put that uh, wire right on top, give it some time to dry, and you should have a perfect solder joint. As you can see it's a pretty good looking joint, very solid. Make sure you want to you want to see that the solder is kind of going around it like that that's always good so you know you have a very solid contact patch there so also um, this is one style of Dean's connector there is also another style of Dean's connector where you like put like a little pin on the wire and then the pin like slides over the tab but I mean this is another way to do it it works just as well so yeah Okay. so now for the very last step we are just gonna be taking uh, like a lighter or some other um, device that can create some heat uh, make sure you slide the shrink rack the shrink wrap tubing up just gonna turn on that lighter and just uh, wiggle it under for a couple seconds. And then once you see that the heat shrinks have uh, collapsed all the way over the terminal as well as over the wire a little bit to prevent any short circuiting, you are pretty much done with this uh, with this installation as you can see. Looks pretty much perfect. All right guys, so that's it for this video. If you would like to see more, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. I'm happy to receive uh, constructive criticism in the comments if you think I did something wrong in the video. Or also, if you just have anything else to say, make sure to post down below. Uh, like or dislike based on what you thought of the video. And remember to subscribe if you want to see more. So thanks for watching, and see you guys later.